One of the ways um, we organize a library is by using the Dewey Decimal System. Melville Dewey created the Dewey Decimal System in the 1870s, and he based this on a series of numbers. So everything works in numbers of 100. So in the different number ranges, each topic um, ranging from like the first one is zero to 099 is a different topic. So for instance, the 200s, you have 200 to 299, that's the religion section, and 500 to 599, that's the science and math section. Um, one of the interesting things about the Dewey Decimal System is that every number on the books means that the book lives in a certain place on the shelf. So once you understand where the num what the numbers mean or where they are, you can always find what you're looking for because it's all organized by subject. One of the interesting things about my job is that I figure out where each book goes on the shelf according to the Dewey Decimal number. But since this was written in the 1870s, there are some things that we find challenging. When it was originally written, it wasn't written for people to be able to find the books on the shelves themselves. It was written for librarians to know where the books lived. And so now one of the things that we're trying to change, and one of my favorite parts of my job, um, just trying to tweak the numbers around so people like you and me can go into the library and intuitively know where the books are. Um, some of the other things with the system is that when it was originally created, um, certain topics were given more weight in the number system. So we'll go back to our religion. Um, Christian religion, Western Christian religion, was given pretty much all of the numbers from 200 to 297. And the rest of the religions in the world were left from 297 to 299. So certain things like that, librarians like me are trying to change to more reflect the communities that we work in so everybody is equally represented.